Hi guys, so morning drop off car rider line chronicles part. I don't know, I do this every morning. I wanted to give an update, share an update about my um excitement with the job search. Everything I said about that process was true, and I didn't get the job. I was in the top two, and because I had a little inside birdie who was giving updates along the process. It really came down to me and another person's um, construction experience. They have more construction experience than I do. So, you know, what it also taught me was that, okay, this can exposure to an option that you never knew was even available to you opens new doors of things to consider. I would have never been interested in that type of position within that type of industry had it not been for that whole process. I wouldn't have updated my resume and I wouldn't have considered going back to work as a day job. Now that I've been, that seed has been planted, it's like, okay, there's got to be other things that are a little bit more entry level friendly. As I build my skills, as I continue to work through my degree and gain the experience, network, whatever, whatever, you know, there's no reason why I couldn't come back to that, reapply, whatever, you know, but it opened the door. It started the conversation. It started me thinking about what, what are the unlimited possibilities within project management. I knew about project management. I like project management. All those things are great. Project coordinating, um, administrative assistance for bigger projects and bigger things, but, you know, I wouldn't have necessarily put myself in that space. I wouldn't necessarily have said, oh, you know, this was a this would be a great opportunity for me. Let me pursue this thing. So was it a failure? No. Am I thankful? Yes. Did I waste time? No. Did I invest time? <laughs> Absolutely. Two interviews, prepping, you know, and all of the mental gymnastics that I did about this whole process and also to the earning potential because I got really excited about like wow if I'm earning $57,000 a year like that would be a huge boost for me right like that's not a small feat especially with no degree so what other positions are out there that don't require a degree but do, do require that that level of like pushing that level of like you know where are my skills a good fit to make that type of money and and put get my foot in the door kind of thing so i'm sharing this to encourage someone else that even if it doesn't turn out like you want even if it's not like wow you know that didn't go like i anticipated it doesn't mean that it wasn't a benefit it doesn't mean that it's not still for you it doesn't mean that you know things aren't still moving in your favor i still believe that um, this will continue to lead me in the right direction, point me in the right direction, and continue to elevate me. Though it may not have been that particular job, it it could be that particular opportunity. You know what I mean? So be encouraged. Don't let this kind of stuff slow you down, make you start doubting, make you start like, you know, getting nervous, purvis. There's no need for all that. I definitely didn't, you know, need to be down on myself because I was like, you know what? I also got a lot of interview prep, panel interviews, um, interviewing with the director and the executive project manager. You know, those were all good experiences. I was able to like, what do I do? You know, constructive criticism. What are my quirks? Do I, um, do I ramble? Do I twitch? Do I move around in my seat? So that next time I'm better prepared for next time the nerves and the, you know, the jitters are out. Like I don't need, there's nothing to be afraid of. And I also surprisingly did better than I realized because I got the second interview, you know, so it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So again, just to reiterate, if you're going through something similar, it's not all for not. Okay. Keep going. Keep benefiting. You've got this. Peace. Bye.